the near future of medicine made possible by the ICT infrastructure. In Japan, the elderly population is increasing and so is the need for medical services. However, Japan also has a serious lack of doctors. This is a problem in the big cities as well as in the countryside. So please let me show you the front line of telemedicine which utilizes ICT. Today I will show you the telepathology system. So let me first explain the settings for this demonstration. Here on this white table is the office of a specialist who performs pathological diagnosis of cells. And over there on the gray table is the hospital which doesn't have a pathologist. Please imagine these clinics are far away from each other. And a video at the front is a view from the microscope monitor of the hospital hallway connected through the network. There are already 19 places using the similar services with the standard definition quality of video, such as one at Iwate Medical University, and demands are on the rise. But what we are going to show you here today is a video transmission which utilizes NGN's quality of service achieving a high resolution, stable level of picture quality. Now with this controller we can control the microscope over there. You can see that it's actually moving. With the low latency transmission made possible by the NGN and the low latency codec, we can smoothly control the microscope from outside, zooming in, out, and we can also adjust the focus. So, just like this, for example, to check if cells are cancerous, a doctor located far away and a university pathologist can both look at the same high-quality microscope video for fast and accurate diagnosis. Now, may I have your attention again on this display here again? The healthcare services that make use of ICT are also being tested in various other ways. One example is a remote surgery that was conducted between Japan and Thailand using robot technology that can be controlled from a remote location. ICT services made possible by the NGN are playing an important role in medicine helping to save people's lives and contribute to the growth of our society. So that's all about telemedicine. May I know if you have any questions regarding this telemedicine section?